After three and a half years of thoroughly using my trusty workhorse, my all city nature boy, Ricky, of commuting, getting groceries, shooting videos, and with riding progressively longer and tougher rides, I've decided to put him up for sale. What's up? I'm Zach Gallardo. Life is short, but don't make it shorter. So ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous and subscribe for more fixed gear videos just like this one every Thursday and Saturday at 6 p.m. Pacific. That's right. I'm selling the mascot of the channel, my all of reliable, my ride or die of a bike, my all city nature boy, Ricky. Of course, if you're interested in giving Ricky a new home, you can check him out at the eBay link in the description. I don't normally get emotionally attached to objects and I can't say that it was really a tough decision to sell Ricky. And while I'm not really sad per se to see him go, what I can say is that throughout the three and a half years of using Ricky, I've grown a lot as a cyclist and as a person. I originally built up Ricky my first time away from home when I was at university in San Diego because I needed a bike that was better for my rides that were progressively getting longer and tougher. I just needed something a little bit more comfortable than my Kilo TT. Or, I mean, at least that's what I told myself to get me to fork over just about all of my savings at that point for a bike that I didn't need. The real reason that I built up Ricky though is that I was going through a pretty dark period in my life and I desperately needed a distraction. For stretches of about three to seven days at a time, about once per month, I would have this sinking feeling of absolute hopelessness. And I would start to question like, what's the point to life at all? Like, what's the point for me being at university? Is it so I could get a good job? So I could pay off that car that I needed to buy so I could just get to my good job in the first place? Like, am I, am I really that valuable of a person if I'm spending 25% of my life filling a position that a company could easily find a replacement for if something happened to me? Does my life mean anything at all if I were to just disappear tomorrow? Like sure, my friends and my family, they'd be sad for a couple of months, but life goes on regardless of whether I'm here or not. And on the bright side, if I were to disappear, I wouldn't have to deal with those feelings, those inescapable feelings of hopelessness and worthlessness. So I, uh, I took a step back, I visited a couple of doctors, and I was diagnosed with depression. There's no rhyme or reason as to why I have it. My therapist told me to do whatever it takes to keep my mind occupied and distracted and to keep myself away from that downward spiral of thoughts that I've become all too familiar with. The thing about depression though is that it made it so I couldn't enjoy the things that normally made me happy. I didn't enjoy talking to my friends and family like normal. I had zero motivation to go to class. And whenever I would go out for a bike ride, I would just pull over to the side of the road and think, there's, there's no point to me riding my bike. I have no destination. Then I just turn around and crawl back into bed. But out of desperation to find something, anything, to enjoy that I normally enjoyed, started thinking about how to build the ultimate distance riding fixed gear bike. So even though I was a broke ass college student, I pulled the trigger on this all city nature boy that was up on pedal room, mostly to just give myself a project that I care about that will get my mind off of thinking those horrific thoughts. The project of building up the bike was fun for a bit, but you know, like every bike, once you build it up, it just becomes another bike. So then I wanted to actually start using the bike for the purpose that I built it for and to see how far I can go on a bike. That led me to doing my first 50 plus mile ride, then my first 70 plus mile ride, and then eventually my first century ride. I was riding a lot on my All City Nature Boy because for the first time in a while, I was actually enjoying cycling again. Those 
six to 12 hour bike rides gave me a clear goal to ride towards to, and it forced me to turn off my brain, which is like exactly what I needed. By the end of my first century, although my legs were a hot mess and I could barely walk, I felt proud of myself for riding a hundred miles. A lot of people don't even like driving a hundred miles let alone biking 100 miles, and I was able to do that on a fixed gear. Now, I felt good about that at a time where I didn't really feel good about much. Because I was pushing my limits so much, because I was actually having fun again, I wanted to share my experience with other people so they could push themselves and have fun on their bikes just like I was able to. So I started this channel. I went from questioning whether I actually even enjoyed cycling at all to right now, three years later, to making a living off of sharing my love for fixed gears with all of you. Now I'm, I'm really amazed that I can even say that and Ricky was the catalyst for all of this. So that was a nice sob story, Zach, but why are you selling Ricky? Well, Basically, I've got a new daily bike, and I like that bike more than I like Ricky. And that bike is the Wobby Special. Basically, Wobby and I, we're like a thing now, and it's official. <laughs> and Wobby is sponsoring the channel. And what that means for you is that I'm going to be riding a Wobby now because they're kind of awesome. And also there's going to be some ads inside the videos for Wabi, it's only fair. First of all, I'm super excited about this partnership with Wabi because ever since we first collaborated on a review for the Wabi Classic back in January 2017, wow, time flies. Ever since I rode that bike, I realized that I may have made a mistake when building up Ricky. He was an impulse purchase and Wabi's ride a lot nicer, at least for my purposes. When I was building up Ricky, I was going back and forth between all City Nature Boy, Surly Steamroller, and the Wobby Classic, which is the non-logged one. I got the logged one, so that's even better. And on paper for me, the Wobby Classic was the best choice because it has the best quality tubing and there's like a cult-like following behind Wobby where everyone says it's the nicest bike they've ever ridden regardless of how many bikes they've ever ridden. But I ended up building a Nature Boy instead of just buying out a complete Wobby Classic because I wanted a project and the Nature Boy was cooler, like sparkly purple. I was a sucker for it. Fork is really cool. The rear dropouts are really cool. And then I rode the Wabi. Everything about this bike just feels right. It fits me perfectly and the way that it rides and the way that it flexes, it's really lively and it feels like that it's encouraging you to bike more. Some people call that planing, flex patterns, whatever you call it, it has it and it's just like that Wobby magic that I really love. Because Wobby is now financially supporting the channel, that just means that I can continue to focus on making videos that you all want to see instead of running around and chasing side income just so I can support my living expenses. I think that this Wobby partnership is like a match made in fix gear heaven because Wobby is like super supportive of anything that I want to do. They said that one of the reasons that they like my channel so much and one of the things that makes it great, oh, so nice of them to say, is because I'm able to cover topics that people want to see and I'm able to cover products from a bunch of other brands and they want me to continue to do that. And that's, that's just like the dream. But of course, not everything is perfect with this Wobby sponsorship. So here are some of the logistical things. First of all, for patrons, yeah, I, I'm sorry, but I will no longer be able to do the shout outs on every single video. Instead, it's going to have to be two to three videos per month. And I totally understand if you no longer want to support the channel because you are no longer getting what I promised, which is a shout out in every video. Patreon shout outs, two to three times per month. I'm thinking about going back to making a video that the patrons suggest every month. And let me know what your thoughts on that are. And if you just think, oh, Zach's just a Wobby shill now and I'm gonna unsubscribe, like that's totally fine by me too. If you think that way, I don't blame you, but you can watch all of my reviews for Wobby that were unpaid and unsponsored. And even then I still thought they make some of the best bikes that money can buy. So 
If you want to unsubscribe because of this partnership, by all means, I totally understand. And for the bike logistics, Ricky is up for sale. He's not exactly the same components that you've seen in all the videos, but with some slight modifications. I swapped over some parts from Ricky over to the Wabi just because I wanted to make it feel like my own. In all honesty, the Wabi is a perfectly good bike right out of the box and nothing needs to be upgraded, but I just wanted to swap some parts over to make it feel like my own bike. With that said, Ricky is still Ricky. He's up for sale on eBay right now and you can check him out in the description if you want to give him a new home. So Ricky has brought me a lot of growth, a lot of memories, and I'm hoping that he can do the same for one of you. If you haven't ridden your bike yet, stop watching me right now because life is short, but don't make it shorter. So ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous.